back. My name is Catherine. Sometimes when you're working in Java, you might be working with multiple applications that support different versions of the JDK. One might be running Java 12, another Java 15, another Java 8, Java 9. If you're on a Mac, you can switch versions by resetting your Java home variable. Now this command is pretty long. It's annoying to remember and you have to use it in order to switch between the versions of Java that your computer is using. Instead of remembering this long command, we can create an alias function to make it easier to switch between different Java versions. To do that, we'll go to our bash profile in the home directory. I'm going to use nano to edit it. Here we are in the bash profile. We can set our Java version by going export Java home and using that exact same command. This will set our Java version to Java 15 every time we open a terminal. However, it would be nice if we could run a function that quickly switches which Java version we're using. We'll write JDK and we'll want to input the version. We'll grab that from the user's input and then save it to that Java home variable. Once the new Java version is set, we'll display it with java-version. We'll save this out with control O and enter. We'll exit by control X. Then we'll load our alias in with source bash profile. Now we should be able to use the function. Let's switch it to Java 9. We'll use JDK 9 and we're running Java 9. In order for this to work, you do have to have the JDK already downloaded onto your machine. I have the JDK 9, 12, and 15. You can see what's downloaded by going to CD, Library, Java, Java Virtual Machines, and I just did the tab there for it to autocomplete, and we have 12, 15, and 9. To switch back to 12, we can go JDK 12. It switches the version, and then Java-version displays the new version. We can go to JDK 15, but if we try 11 or something that's not installed, it'll say, no JVMs matching. With this function, we never have to remember that long command ever again. We can just use JDK and whatever version we want to switch it to. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you want more Java tips and tricks, life as a software developer content, be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Happy coding.